guys welcome back to my channel one more time today I am using the Carly Bible like palette all over my face you guys like the Carly Bible deluxe palette work so I'm using this palette today if you guys watch my weekly vlog I vlogged myself going to get it and I was kind of like going crazy um, but this is what it looks like this is what the baby looks like you guys look how beautiful this is I practically use like so much on my face I use this for highlight for shadow I put some on top of my lipstick I stuff like that but this makeup tutorial is based on bridesmaids um this is like a makeup tutorial that any bridesmaids can um put on can do themselves um i leave it very open to the bridesmaid and what they want to do on their own personal eyes so i lead you through the steps to get like the smoky effect very neutral effect and then i leave the lid color up to you and also the lower lash line up to you and you could always customize it however you want to do it um so i definitely tell them tell you guys that it's up to you guys what you guys want to do i did a gold a smoky eye so i did like gold in the inner corner and then like brown dark brown towards the outer and in the crease a little bit and then I kept it really simple with a bronze kind of transition shade so I really find this stunning and beautiful for any bridesmaid and like I said you can customize it you can change the lip color you can you know put a different blush on you can put a different highlight on but I really honestly I recommend this palette for anybody it is so easy to use and you have everything that you need in this palette like you have darks mattes shimmers highlights like you have so much literally I can survive off of this palette if you guys would like to see how to get this makeup look and if you're a bridesmaid and you want to customize and just look and waste some time maybe you're here on youtube you're wasting some time girl then just keep watching to prep my skin i always use this jojoba oil it's really nice because my skin is dry but this one doesn't make me seem like too oily Okay guys, so we're going to start off on eyes, and for the eyes, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Conceal in Light Medium to prime them. I to just take a little dot, and I'm going to be taking this concealer brush by IT Cosmetics. It's the Airbrush Concealer Brush, and I'm just going to buff all this out. So now I'm going to set the eyes and I'm going to be using the Carly Bible palette. This is a Carly Bible Deluxe palette um, and it comes with more shadows and more highlights. So this is what it looks like. Look at how pretty that is. I'm obsessed. I honestly love this um, palette. It's one of my favorite palettes ever. I'm going to be taking this Sephora brush. This is the all over shadow brush. And this is a new brush that I got. I got new brushes, so you guys won't want to see me use all the same brushes. So I'm excited for that. But I'm going to go into this cream shade right here. And I'm just going to set the concealer with that. I'm going to go in with a blending brush like this one. This is actually a paintbrush, you guys. And I got it from Joann's um, Craft Store. I think that's what it is. Um, and this is the 3 8 Lowell Cornel Soft Comfort Oval Mop Brush. Um, and I actually have a bigger um, one of these. It's more for, like, the face. And I like to use it for highlight and blush and stuff like that. But I'm going to pick up this shade right here, which is more like a peachy shade. And I'm going to just lightly put this all over my crease as a transition shade. I'm going to go into the shade right here. And just with the same brush. But I'm going to try to keep it below that first shade that we put on. I know that can be kind of difficult, but if you do um, um, overdo it and like cover the first shade, um, then you can just go back in with the first shade and kind of blend it out and make it show a little bit more. Um, but what I'm doing, so on the first shade, I was blending like this. So I was just like had the, the, br the brush straight and I was blending like that. And so the whole brush was like getting on this part of my crease on the top part. But now what I'm doing to not get above or like cover all of that first shade up is I am just laying my brush flat 
on my eye and I'm going back and forth and I'm I'm keeping it like right on the crease a little bit above the crease and a little bit below the crease so that that shadow won't go any further up and cover that first shade so now I'm gonna move on to the third kind of like darkest brown um, like bronzy shade so first we use this peach shade then we use this one and now I'm gonna use this shade right here with this Sephora crease or rounded crease brush and I love how well all these colors just complement each other you can use any of them and it'll be so pretty so this one you just want to keep it on the crease and I am having this one I am holding it like this and just blending it out because this is more of a precise brush it's not really like all the other brushes where it's like fluffy and um, it'll take up a lot of space Focus more of the color towards the outer half of the eye and then bring it in. So if you guys can see, I, oh gosh, I got the wrong shade. Why do I always do that in this shade? I don't know why, in this palette, I don't know why I always do that. But I accidentally dipped into the shade now. So I was, I was trying to get this shade, but I dipped into that shade. So now I'm just, I have like a big dark blob on there, but it's okay. We can fix it, okay? I'm just going to go back into that dark brown shade that I just accidentally dipped into. And I'm going to do the exact same thing over here. So now that I have that shade all laid out, I'm going to go in with this Sephora brush right here, and this is the Sephora Angled Shadow Brush, and I'm going to go into that first light brown shade that we used right here, um, and I'm going to go back in and try to define that crease and blend things out with this brush and see how that goes. I'm going to go back in with the brush that I use with um, that more orangey shade. Um, and I'm just going to go right over that and blend that out a little bit. That brown a little bit. So now that I have that laid out, I'm going to clean the first like big brush that I use, um, which is this one. And I don't know if I told you guys with this one, but this is the all over eyeshadow. I'm going to put some of that concealer on the back of my hands. And on the back of my hand, I'm going to grab that brush and dip it in there. I'm gonna want to carve out just half of my eyelid with this concealer. Okay, so now that we have the concealer kind of laid out, so it's definitely up to you. You can keep it very neutral, and if you want to keep it very neutral and not too dramatic, I would just go for this cream shade right here. I would put that right where you put the concealer, and it'll be set to go. Um, if you want to go more dramatic, depending on your look, so you have like this neutral part of the eye. You can put whatever color shade you want on your eye. I'm going to go on to, into this one. So... You know, you could choose any of these shades, any of these highlighters you could choose to put on your eyes. But I'm just going to go with this shade right here. And I'm just going to use the same concealer brush. And I'm just going to go in with that. So you don't necessarily have to wet your brush because you have concealer on your eyes already. So you don't have to wet your brush. Now, if you do want it more intense, um, you do, you can wet your brush. But what I've noticed whenever I do wet my brush is that it gets very clumpy. And the reason why is because it's like... All the shadow is going onto your eye. So um, some of the shadow, whenever I tap it off 
wherever you type your brush off, the shadow goes off of your brush, the extra shadow. So whenever you wet your brush, that extra shadow stays on your brush and um, it just kind of clumps up on your eyelid and it makes your wrinkles on your eyes look a lot more noticeable. I have done that mistake before myself and it just makes everything a lot more noticeable on your eye and you might not like that. Um, I definitely don't like that and it also just it just it's very clumpy and so I've noticed that if I put concealer on my eyelids I like that a lot better than wetting my brush one thing that I don't like from this look is that it just goes from the brown straight to this so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a bronzy shade right in the middle and kind of blend that out. I'm gonna take this brush by Anastasia it comes in the modern Renaissance palette I'm gonna add the darkest highlighting shade right here right here You guys see how that kind of just cleaned up that transition? So if you guys see that, it's just like light and dark. And then this is more like a transition right here. It's all in the little details, you guys. Oh, I'm going to add some eyeliner. And I don't know if I can do this on camera because it's really hard for me to even do liner. But the liner that I'm going to use is this Wet n Wild H2O Proof um liner. Oh, I know my wings are kind of off. I'm going to fix them with the concealer so I'm, I just left it there. I'm going to try to fix it with the concealer and hopefully they match up. But look how pretty that line. I'm going to use the Nivea Men, Men Original Replenishing Post Shave Balm. So and I've realized that if I fix it with concealer, I don't think it's going to work because it just, everything's going to be turned black. So I'm just going to go in with a little wipey and try to like clean it up. I think that's the best it's going to get you guys. So moving on to foundation. I'm going to use the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation in the in number 755 Soft Honey. And this has been such a good foundation for me. Except I wish I would have gone like a shade lighter. A tad bit lighter. Um, the problem was that I like to pick shades out that are lighter than me. But I don't like the way they look at the end of the day so I'm like we'll just pick a darker shade this time and I picked a shade that was a little bit too dark so it kind of threw me off but I still really like it sometimes I mix it with a lighter shade if um if I want to sorry guys I got a text message I'm gonna be using this sponge right here uh, my sister has loved using this sponge and I've used it I think like once or twice and it's actually really worked for me I really really like it and I've enjoyed it um, so I'm gonna try it again and see um, how I like it again but you never know and you always have to use like half of the product that you would normally use with like a regular sponge or a brush because this like doesn't soak anything up so you just want to use half of it if you use a little bit more or if you use the normal amount then you're just gonna waste it so you always want to use just half of the amount that you would normally use on half of my face first to take a foundation brush like this one this is the Sonia Kashuk number 130 um, I'm guessing it's like a foundation or blush brush I don't know but I'm gonna just drag this down my neck and just blend it into my neck now I'm just gonna take a sponge and kind of just sponge sponge over that since I'm going full coverage I'm gonna try this concealer out it's not my favorite for underneath the eyes I used to like it for eyeshadow or to conceal like redness or something like that I usually don't like it under my eyes because it's really thick um, some people really like this full coverage concealer because it really is full coverage but it just doesn't work with me because I have lots of texture texture around here and so if I put too much of this on it just really accentuates my texture so I'm not sure if I'm just going to put this on its own or mix it right now I don't know so I'm grabbing just a little dot like I always do I do feel like it's a little too light for me so I'm probably going to mix it with a darker shade. I'm going to go into the Fit Me Concealer in Medium and I'm just going to apply that right on top of it. I'm going to take this little Real Technique sponge right here and I am just going to blend it 
under my eyes with this and all over where I highlighted. To set that, I'm just going to use a little concealer brush. I'm going to go into this CoverGirl Outlast All Day um, Powder, um, Matte Finishing Powder. It's the, it's an A30 light to medium. And this is what it looks like. And since that concealer was really light, I just want a little bit of color back into my, like, skin. So it won't just be all light. So I'm going to use this. Like I'm setting right underneath my eyes. Now, if you don't have the texture problem like I do, you want to set everywhere where you put the um, the concealer at. But since I have texture problems, I really try to avoid this area around my like around my face. This these two areas because they get very texturized if I put even more powder on them. Now it is time to bronze up my face, contour, do all that stuff. So I'm gonna go into the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette, and I'm gonna take this small brush by elf this is the powder brush by elf um, and I'm gonna go into this shade right here whenever I'm having more dramatic looks or anything like that I like to go into a smaller brush get it precisely where I want it and then blend it out with a bigger brush and I always like to add just a little wash of bronzer on my nose and I'm going to go into a big fluffy brush. This is the e.l.f. Total Face Brush. take uh, this little brush right here by Neutrogena. And I'm going to go into this one right here. And can you guys see that shadow that I have right there? I'm just going to go in and do that. I'm also going to just contour my nose with this brush. This brush by 35 or Studio 35 Beauty and I'm going to take this dome shape right here, blend the contour out a little bit. For blush, I am going to go into this Pandora's Face Pink Carnation blush. And I'm going to go in with this brush right here, which is the Bella Pro brush. And then to define that contour a little bit more, I'm going to go into this Hard Candy Sheer Envy Baked Brighton and Set Loose Finishing Powder. And it's like a banana shade. And I'm going to go right under. And this is a very, very yellow, but it does brighten everything up. I feel like on camera it looks great. Whenever you let that sit, you just want to brush that off of your face. Now that I have kind of the base of my face on, I'm going to go ahead and spritz a little bit of this um, facial um, mist on my face and blend it all together. So I'm just going to close my eyes and I'm going to put my hand like covering my eye. And I'm going to spray around my cheek area and then I'm going to want to get it like right underneath my eyes. But I don't want to get it on the wing or on the eyeshadow. So I'm just going to cover that with, a, with your finger. You can do it with like a palette. You can just, you know, cover your eye like this. I'm going to do my eyebrows and pop some false lashes on. But before I do that, I'm going to show you guys what lashes I am going to use. These are the lashes that I'm going to apply. Um, they are the Tinkerbell um, Collection, uh, I think, limited edition lashes. And it's in Just Wing It by House of Lashes. We're going to add some highlighter. I'm going to go back into the Carly Bible palette. Uh, honestly, all I need is like one swipe one swipe and then like tap tap that's all I do I will just sweep it over and then for my nose I just like to go in with this shade right here and just my finger For inner corner highlight, I think I'm going to take this pink shade right here, my pinky. 
I realized that my camera wasn't recording what I just told you guys. So I'm going to go back into the Carly Bible palette. I'm going to take this bronzy shade right here um, from the palette. I'm going to take this brush by um, Sephora. It's a small shadow brush that I used earlier. I just cleaned it off. Uh, but what I did was I just smudged that shade into the bottom lash line. So you could go to, in with a red. My dress is red. I think I want to try it with a red on and see how it looks. So we'll try that. It's liquid suede in um, kitten heels. I think I'm going to go in with this shade right here with a flat brush and just put it on top. I like that. Okay, guys. So, this is what my dress looks like from the top. It's red. And I feel like this look, this color on camera looks a little bit orangey. So, I won't be wearing this lip color. But on, in person, it looks really good. But since we are going to take, like, pictures and stuff like that, I don't want to ruin it by putting this lipstick on and it looking orange and not being the same red as the dress. I just kind of look off. And thank you guys so much for 160 subscribers. It's been, like, a week. And I've gained, like, 30 subscribers. So, thank you guys so much for that. Like, I love you guys so much. So, thank you guys for that. For the new subscribers, what have you seen? Like, did you see my weekly vlogs first? Or did you see my makeup tutorials? Or did you see one of the kids' videos? Let me know. Um, what you saw first and what really made you subscribe to my channel and what you would like more of let me know um, your recommendations I would love to do that for you guys so thank you guys so much for watching this video for supporting me I mean 30 subscribers in like a week and a half is insane to think about like I've gained 30 subscribers so thank you for 160 subscribers I think I always like to celebrate the little steps in life so um, for some people 160 is not a lot but for me it's a lot like holy cow 160 people are watching me like I don't wish for a million I don't I don't you know I don't wish for that if I do get to that that's amazing but I'm thankful for the people that I have right now and I'm just, like I live day by day so I, I'm very thankful for the people that I have right now so thank you guys so much for watching if you guys like these types of video give me a thumbs up um don't forget to subscribe for more videos and don't forget to click the notification bell so that it'll notify you when we upload another video so thank you guys so much and I will talk to you guys next time bye guys